Hello everyone and welcome back to Core Monsters. Today we are going to be in Anaheim, California with 10 trucks here to put on a show for you. These trucks are going to be Airborne Assault, driven by Herbert Miller, Big Iron, driven by Mick McKinney, Busted Knuckles, driven by Christian Holt, Cottonmouth, driven by Lonnie Hall, Loud Pedal, driven by Mike Maxwell, Napa Auto Parts, driven by Damon Newton, Rat Trap, driven by Randall Boone, Risky Business, driven by Cliff Slater, Sinful Addiction, driven by Keith Johnson, and Tonka, driven by Phil Butler. The ones to watch out for here, we have the reigning freestyle champion of Christian Holt in Busted Knuckles, is obviously one to watch for, and then we have Cottonmouth and Rat Trap here, who have always put on a good show. But we're going to be going straight into racing. Out first, we're going to be seeing Airborne Assault, driven by Herbert Miller. Here he goes, he's going to get staged up and ready to go. On throttle up and over the first set of cars. A lot of air nose down off the landing there. Very awkward. Good control to get it right around the turn quick, though. Back on power. It's going to come down the other side of this paperclip layout that we're doing here. Nice tight corner. Kind of slow around the end of it. Looks like we're going to end up with a time of 20.302. It's not a bad pass there. And a good start to our racing competition here today. Next up, Big Iron driven by Mick McKinney coming out. We'll see what he can do following what Airborne Assault just did. Good smooth jump over the first set of cars into a nice tight turn. Kind of had to back off of it, cut in a little too early at first. Then it goes up and over the next ramps nice and smooth. So far it's been a very good run. Gets it cut around nice and tight around the last turn. Up and over, looks like we're going to have a time of 20.620. So it is just slower than what we just saw from Airborne Assault, but still a very good run there. Next up, Cliff Slater coming out in Risky Business. We haven't seen him perform quite as well as he's wanted to. He kind of has his truck set up more for racing. Big air off the first set of cars. Whips it right into, into the turn. It goes around the cone beautifully. Up and over into the next turn. Not quite as nice as the first turn. That's going to cost him some time the way it dug in. It's going to be a time of 19.660, so that is the lead run so far. Next up, Damon Newton coming out in Napa Auto Parts. Has been a threat in each competition, so we'll see how he does here today. Almost misses the ramp, kind of comes off the ramp at an angle because of it. Gets around the corner nice and tight. A lot of air over the second ramp for him. Kind of slow rolls the last corner there, but it gets it set up nicely. Time of 19.221, so short-lived lead for Risky Business as Napa is going to take the lead for now. Next up, Christian Holt coming out in Busted Knuckles. Not really known as a race truck, but he does come out here and try to put on for you guys and wants to get a racing win. We'll see if he can do it here. There he goes nice and tight around the turn. But it looks like he might be a little slower than we've seen from from Napa and maybe Risky so far today. Beautiful last turn and great momentum, but 19.939 is not going to be enough to put him in the lead here today. Next up, Keith Johnson in Sinful Addiction. He's been fighting this truck seemingly in every competition he's done this season. And I've heard rumor that he may have something in works for next season, but I don't know yet what is going on there. That was a good turn for him, though. It's one of the best turns we've seen from him. And he's going to get it turned around. and the, Oh, really has to get out of it to get the truck to turn. And that's what we're talking about. He's really struggled getting this truck to turn. That is a 20 flat. But it is not enough to take the lead here today. Now, Phil Butler coming out in Tonka has come out strong this season and really put on good showing. Huge wheelie off the line. Kind of sets him up awkwardly for the for the car ramp there. Could cost him some time, but I'm not sure. So far, that's been a very good run. Nice and smooth while being fast. Just I don't know what that wheelie's going to do to affect the time, but that was a great pass. 19.354. So that is not quite enough to take the lead away from Napa. Next up, Lonnie Hall and Cottonmouth. Last season, one of the most dominant trucks we had has been strong still this season but not as dominant. That is big air off the cars, but it lands so smooth. There he goes whipping around. Now this isn't the same chassis we've seen for the last two seasons. 
and we'll go into that more later on in the event, but this has been a great pass from Lonnie Hall, 19.194. That will put him in the lead with just a couple of trucks remaining. Now Mike Maxwell coming out in loud pedal, another truck that's been very fast in racing and wants to try to steal the racing win here today. Big air up and over the cars. That ramp is kicking these guys just straight up, getting a lot more air than they would really like to be getting. Kind of hurts the momentum as they're setting up for the corners. Kind of takes it out wide, but brings it up into a nice tight corner. It's a great run with a 19.189, just barely edges out Lonnie Hall and Cottonmouth. So that is a new leader there, Mike Maxwell and Loud Pedal. Now, Rat Trap, driven by Randall Boone. This is a new setup. So we'll see how he handles it being out here with a new setup and having to figure out the truck still. But it does not look slow, man. He is blasting through this course. Nice tight turns. Look at that. Just right against the cone. That's beautifully done. Time at 18.440. Now that is the fastest pass we've seen by a wide margin. That will be the winning run here today in racing. Those standings are Rat Trap with an 18.440. Loud Pedal with a 19.189, Cottonmouth with a 19.194, Napa Auto Parts with a 19.221, Tonka with a 19.354, Risky Business with a 19.660, Busted Knuckles with a 19.939, Sinful Addiction with the 20 flat, Airborne Assault with a 20.302, and Big Iron with a 20.620. Now it's going to be time for the second part of our show, which is going to be Freestyle. The freestyle order today is going to be Big Iron, followed by Airborne Assault, Napa, followed by Risky Business, Sinful Addiction, followed by Tonka, Cottonmouth, followed by Loud Pedal, and then Rat Trap, followed by Busted Knuckles. Keep in mind, Busted Knuckles is our reigning freestyle champion, and I'm suspecting that he will want to throw down a great run here for you guys, as well as Cottonmouth and Rat Trap both are on new chassis for their trucks. So we'll have to see how those trucks handle. Now we're going to get started here with Mick McKinney coming out in Big Iron, seeing what he can get going right off the rip for us. We got a nice little hit over the ramp, getting it started with a soft hit. Kind of looking for the next hit. Looks like we're going to go up and over the racing lane there. It's a pretty good little sky wheelie there. He's going to come around to the other side of the track lining up for his next hit good air over the racing lane kind of just stayed on throttle never really lifted kind of keeping the momentum up the way he's keeping the truck just constantly moving good throttle control keeping it planted not hunting real hard for his hits Nice move there, slow rolling over and getting some air off the second part of the dirt there. He's going to go back across as he's going to line up for, looks like the racing lane. Nice sky wheelie there as he goes up and over. The bumper drags the cars. Inside of 30 seconds remaining here for Big Iron. Let's see what else he can come up with here in the last few seconds of the run. Very, very nice sky wheelie. Flat on the back of the truck, flattens the car. Beautifully done. Good air over the ramp there. Now, if Mick had started with this kind of momentum and this these kind of hits, I would suspect he'd be getting a lot higher scores than I suspect we'll see. Nice air up and over the racing lane here as he's going to roll around. Looks like he may be going for some donuts here. Now, we're just outside of time. Truck's going to kick up on two wheels and not really able to complete those donuts. That is a score of 18 for Mick McKinney in Big Iron. Not a bad start to the show. Now, Herbert Miller coming out in Airborne Assault. He has told us that he's really trying to up his driving. We want to see what that really means. Good air over the pair of cars there. Gets a little bit of a slap wheelie out of it, but nothing like we've seen from other trucks. Nice sky wheelie up and over the racing lane. Beautiful hit, really just coming out and laying down. A good run so far, really staying on throttle. Now he's kind of searching here for the next hit, but it's a big one, big air there off the dirt. It was a great, great hit actually. Now he's gonna go up and over the biggest ramp on the track, 
kind of cautiously up and over it, but that's understandable. That obstacle is huge. Now here he goes for the next hit. Looks like we're going to be going for the racing lane. Yes, we are, and that is big air with a very smooth landing. It's been great truck control using every bit of the track. Up and over, nice air, beautifully done. Kind of gets himself caught up though as he landed on the another set of ramp there. 20 seconds remaining in the run as he, we're going to have to see what else he can do. Goes for the sky wheelie, but the car kicks him off side to the side a little bit. As the car gets crushed, we'll be seeing more of these trucks getting awkward kicks off the cars. Back side of the racing lane with a nice sky wheelie here for Airborne Assault. This has been a very good run for Herbert. One that we would like to see continue to improve here as he really does come out and try and throw down. Now we're out of time, so I don't know if this hit will count. He's going to go up and over the cars. It's nicely done. I don't know if the judges are counting that hit in the scores or not. He's still driving around. Looks like he's going for more. This is all for the fans, though. Up over the racing lane. Nicely done. He's just out here showing off now. Trying to make sure the crowd is entertained. Big air up and over the yellow cars. Beautiful. As a score of 21 for Airborne Assault as he is going to finally come to an end. That was a great run for Herbert Miller. Just a little bit of extra there for you fans. Now Damon Newton coming out in Napa Auto Parts. Following a good run from Airborne Assault. We'll see if the momentum picks up here in this show. Looks like that is going to be a yes as that is big air off the racing lane to start this freestyle for Damon. Slow rolls up and over the dirt and goes for it off the second part of it. Nicely done. Good air. Gets a little slap with it out of it and has to really bail though as he was building up a lot of speed headed towards the stadium walls. Gets a little bit of air off the dirt ramp there. I think he was expecting more the way he hit it. Now he's going across. He's kind of looking for the next hit. He's going to go for the yellow cars. Nice, nice air off of the yellow cars. That one car is totally crushed. So to still get a hit like that off of it is very well done. Rolls over the back side of that section. Big air off of the middle of it. Great awareness of what the track layout is to know that he can roll up and over that and get a great hit. Nice Sky Willie off the red cars. 30 seconds remaining in the run. Now this one will be competition for the lead. Oh, he's going to go into Donuts. It goes up and over as the diffs just don't lock up for him. And it's up and over. That's the score of 22 for Damon Newton and Napa Auto Parts. Unfortunate early in, but it is the lead. Now Cliff Slater coming out in risky business. Saw what was happening in front of him. Notice he's going to have to come down and come out and really throw down, seeing that the scores are lower, even though we're seeing some big runs. So will he come out and throw down hard? Looks like he is. That is big air for Risky Business. I like the way he stood on the brake there to get the truck to really turn around. Nice up and over the big obstacle. Rolls over it a little bit more confidently than we saw Airborne Assault do earlier in the show. That is a very nice jump there. Just nice and smooth down the back side of the ramp on landing. So far showing great truck control. Goes into some donuts. Now I can't quite see exactly what's going on. I see a lot of bouncing around there. But this looks like a great set of donuts here for Cliff Slater. Beautifully done. He's going to pull right out of them. Thinks about his next hit. Changes his mind. Nice air off of the racing lane. 30 seconds remaining in this run. This is definitely going to be in contention to take the lead. Really coming out and throwing down. Nicely done. Nice wheelie up and over the cars. Where is he headed out? Deep. Looks like he's going to... Oh, he's coming right back. Thought he was going to go into some more donuts the way he whipped it around. Turned that truck real tight. There's a big sky wheelie off the cars up and over. A little slap wheelie as it comes down. Now time is going to run out here. So we'll see what else he's going to do here. And if the judges are going to count it, I don't know. That is beautifully done as he lands awkwardly on that left front. He's going to turn the truck around. There with a score of 25. That is a new leader, Cliff Slater in Risky Business, with a fantastic freestyle run. 
Now, Sinful Addiction coming out. Keith Johnson, as we said earlier, he's been fighting this truck. The setup on it just has not been working for him. And we've heard rumors of changes to come possibly next season. But we'll see what he can throw down here in Anaheim. Nice sky wheelie to start the run. Right back on throttle to give us a little bit of a slap wheelie down the backside. So far, probably the best pair of first hits we've seen. Big air there. Stands on it. Doesn't quite carry the nose this time. But still a very, very nice hit. Coming right back for the racing lane. Up and over. Good air. You get the truck to turn now. See how it kind of pushes out there. This is what he's been fighting. Getting this truck to turn tight has been a problem. Good air. Kind of clears the second and third part of that jump. Lands on the end of it. Up over the yellow car is kind of at a crossed angle there. It's nice control to keep the truck in check. It goes to go up and over the middle berm and just kind of rolls over. It doesn't get the pop off of it he would have expected. Now that's the first truck we're going to see go up and over that obstacle in that direction. And he stayed committed to it. Now, 10 seconds remaining in the run. What else are we going to see? This has been a great run so far. And I suspect that this could be in contention to take the lead, depending on how this ends. Now, he's going to go for the car stack here. Beautifully done. Nice guy into a great slap, Willie. Now, that came just after time. I don't know if the judges are counting it, but that is a score of 26 for Keith Johnson in Sinful Addiction. That will take the lead. Now, Phil Butler coming out in Tonka. So far, big runs in front of him. Not a lot of room left in the scores. Knows he has to come out and put this truck in risky situations to take this lead away from Keith Johnson. So here we go. Lines up for the cars. Beautifully done. Commits to him. Stays on it and just really plows through. Whips it right back around, goes right up and over the dirt ramp with huge air into a massive slap wheelie. Stood on it and power just brought him right up to the bumper. That was beautiful. Goes lining up for the next hit. It's going to be up and over the yellow cars. Lightly on the throttle. Didn't want to bring the nose up too high as he was headed for a wall. Great, great thought to not stand on it. Now comes a cross, cross threads the ramp, awkward landing, but is able to bring it back down, saves the truck, keeps it from going over. Now don't want to damage that bodywork of that new truck. 30 seconds remaining, he's going to get some good air off the dirt ramp there. Whips it around, looks like he's going to go into some donuts. He's hiking that right front up real tight. Great set of donuts. I'd have to argue that Cliff Slater's may have just been a little bit better, but either way, a great set of donuts. Ten seconds remaining in the run. What else is Phil Butler going to do for us here today? As he looks and turns around, looks like he's going for the big obstacle. Up and over, most commitment we've seen. Catches the end of it, comes down on the nose, but's able to control the truck and keep it from nose diving and really rolling over on the lid. This has been a great run. We're out of time, so the rest of this is for the fans. Big air as he goes up and over the yellow racing lane. This has been a fantastic freestyle from Phil Butler. Is it going to be enough to take the lead away from Keith Johnson? It is not. It is going to tie for the lead. Keith Johnson and Phil Butler are tied as we have Lonnie Hall coming out in Cottonmouth now. As I said, there's a huge power wheelie to start the run. Oh my goodness. That was... Absolutely fantastic, and that's going to take me right into the next point I was going to make. Lonnie is out here throwing down with this setup. Now, this is actually the Rat Trap chassis that we've seen for the last couple of seasons. They have built a new chassis for Rat Trap, and they have moved Cottonmouth over to this chassis, hoping to get better results out of both trucks, even though they were already at the top. But they want to stay there, and they know the trucks are gunning for them. And so far, it looks like this setup is working for Lonnie. It's matching his driving style perfectly. Huge air up and over the yellow cars into a gets a little slap wheelie there, and it wasn't even intentional. The rebound was just that hard. But this has been absolutely throwing down from start 
to the point he's at now. Still a lot of run left. He's going to, looks like, into some donuts here. 30 seconds remaining. Look at these donuts. Look at the momentum. momentum. Wild starts to bring up the inside tires there. Let's off. Brings it back down. Best set of donuts I think we've seen so far in this tour. Up over the cars into a great slap wheelie. This has been a magnificent run for Lonnie Hall and Cottonmouth. I would highly suspect that this will take the lead. Goes up and over it at an angle. Cross threads the biggest obstacle on the track. The guts it takes to do that. Beautifully done. That is time for Lonnie Hall's freestyle run. If this isn't a new leader, the judges are fired. I'm just going to say that right now. I mean, I don't have that power, but I'd... This should be a new leader. This has been fantastic. Still out here making hits for you guys. Going to go into another set of donuts right into... Look at the momentum again. Huge. It's going to go up and over, though. He catches the dirt berm that's going to roll it over. That is a perfect 30 for Lonnie Hall and Cottonmouth. That is what I expected seeing a run like that. What a fantastic job. Now Mike Maxwell and Loud Pedal has to come out and follow that. So he's going to start with a cross thread. But that is an incredibly high bar right out in front of him. He is rolling across this track at all the wrong angles. He said, all right, I got to do something different. I'm going to have to come down here and throw, throw it down because Lonnie Hall really just tore it up. Everything was on fire for him today. Loud Pedal so far with a good run, though. Great momentum. Has hit things differently. What else can he do? It's still a lot of... A lot to do to match what Lonnie Hall did. Huge air from Loud Pedal as he lands awkwardly on that dirt berm. I can't believe the truck didn't break there the way it landed. Now he's going to get it turned right back around. It looks like he's going to go back for the same hit. No, next to it, slow rolls over the little dirt hump. Well, not really slow rolls, but cruises over the dirt hump. Now he's looking for the van stack here. Big hit. It's going to go up on the left side and over onto the lid. Awkwardly comes off the cars. That's a score of 24. That is the risk as these cars crush. They will kick you at an angle. Now Randall Boone and Rat Trap coming out with the brand new chassis. This was the debut show for this chassis. So far it's proven really well in racing as he got the racing win already with this setup. And keep in mind, being a new chassis, they're still working out the kinks. Got to get this truck completely dialed for the driver. But they are off to a great start there. Coming out, matching the momentum we saw from Lonnie Hall so far. Is it going to be as crazy of a run, though? Great air as he goes over the dirt ramp. Getting it turned right back around. See the way it's kind of pushing that right front and it's hopping there. That's probably part of the things that they're going to need to get out of this setup. What a beautiful slap wheelie, though, straight up onto the tailgate. Somehow manages to keep the tailgate on the truck. Here he goes up over the big obstacle. Doesn't quite commit to it like we've seen others, but still huge. Comes down, catches the left front on a ramp, pops it into a wheelie. The momentum here has been absolutely fantastic. If it's in front of him, he hits it. Big air off of the racing lane there, I believe it was. I could be wrong. 30 seconds remaining. This in my mind, definitely competes with what we've seen from Lonnie Hall so far. Big Sky Wheelie. Beautifully done there for Randall Boone. Now 15 seconds remaining. I don't know if we're going to be able to see another perfect score here today as Lonnie Hall's run was so great. But Randall has really put on a great show. Comes to a stop at the ramp and nails it for a huge power wheelie in, or a huge... Sky Willie into a great slap Willie. That is going to be a score of 30. It does tie Lonnie Hall and Cottonmouth. So we will see at least two trucks taking home trophies here today. Now Christian Holt coming out and busted knuckles has been on a roll this season. It is a high bar to match what these two have done, but if anyone can, it is Christian Holt and busted knuckles. Up over the van into a great slap wheelie. Not quite as wild as we saw from Rat Trap just before. But coming out and really just staying on it and getting it set up for these hits. Nicely done up and over the racing lane. Keeping the momentum up. Staying on throttle. Keeping this truck moving. Keeping the fans entertained. 
up over the yellow cars. Big, massive air lands on the right front and rebounds real hard. But able to control it, it's going to get lined up immediately for the next hit. Rolls up and over into a huge sky wheelie. Gets kind of caught up on the end of the ramp there. But it's not going to affect him too much. He's just going to look for the next hit immediately and keep trying to throw down. Here we go. Big air again. Busted Knuckles really coming out here with the big air assault. Looks like he's going to whip it into some donuts here. Great set of donuts. Now, we don't see as much momentum in these donuts as we saw from Lonnie Hall. But that is still a beautiful set of donuts. 25 seconds remaining as he comes out of them. Where is he headed next? Up and over the dirt ramp. Good air. 15 seconds to go. Gets it turned right back around, wasting no time. Looks like he's going for the big obstacle. He does big air up and over. That is commitment to get the truck that high off the ground when you're already that high off the ground with the dirt. That is a fantastic final hit in time. We'll see what else he's going to do. Looks like he's going to park it up on the obstacle. I don't know what the score is going to be. It's going to be another 30. That is three perfect 30s here today So for a three-way tie for the win. Unbelievable freestyle show here today. Three perfect scores is unheard of. What a great show. Our final standings are, as we saw, Rat Trap, Cottonmouth, and Busted Knuckles taking a 30 to tie for the win. Then we have Tonka with a 26, Sinful Addiction with a 26, Risky Business with a 25, Loud Pedal with a 24, Napa Auto Parts with a 22, Airborne Assault with a 21, and Big Iron with an 18. A lot of these trucks had great freestyle runs, but to still have the show we had here, it was just outstanding, guys. I'm so excited to have been here with you today. Next time we see you will be for finals. I can't wait to see you at finals. Y'all take it easy.